So you've opened up QGIS and you've added an Esri shape file that has US Census data in 2010 by state. So let's look at the attribute table or the data table. If you right click the layer and, and click open attribute table you see a spreadsheet looking format. Um, this is called the table of contents typically so it lists our data in the table of contents. And I have uh, 51 rows of data. These are called records and each row of data has several columns of data associated with it. This is v looks very much like the WebGIS applications you were using. And this is a huge data table. Uh, there is the 2010 population. If I click this it will sort this from high to low. So California had the highest, Wyoming had the lowest. Um, then there's a table called TU5, which is the total number of people in the U.S. under 5, total 5 to 9. If we scroll on down here, then you see male age categories, males 30 to 40, uh, female, there's median age, uh, po population of one race, white, black, Asian, Filipino, Japanese, lots of age category, or, uh, ethnicity, ancestry category. Then there's some information about uh, household size, far family sizes, how many housing units occupied, how many for rent, for sale. Uh, and then there's information about the uh, area of the land, area of water, and uh, the, the length of the polygon, uh, the perimeter of a state, and the area of the state. A lot of information in the attribute table. Um, and let's go back and I'll show you why that is highlighted. Um, at some point I clicked oh, North Carolina and so North Carolina is showing up highlighted on my map. If I click the 39 for Illinois, Illinois will be highlighted on my map and I have not figured out how to make it go away so we'll deal with that here in a minute. Why is that doing that? Okay, I found that. Under layer, um, I can go to, no, I can't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to remove the layer. That will take that, up, remove that for the whole thing. Where did I see that? View, there's something about unselect. Zoom to select, last select. Here it is, under view, select. deselect feature. So that should make that uh, unselected. Okay, so now if I want to make a map, right now what I'm showing is just a feature map. All of the states are colored the same. I can double click uh, the layer and this opens up a layer property box. Um, this again shows me all of my attribute tables and what kind of information they are. Um, a lot of things we won't work with but I want to go to style and instead of showing this as a si single symbol I want to show it as a graduated symbol and now I'm going to choose what field I want to map so let's scroll down and say I want to map um, the houses for sale so I'm going to map the number of houses for sale in 2010 I can change uh, my colors. I'm going to leave that as it is. And I can change uh, the way the map is created. We looked earlier at equal interval, natural breaks, and I'm going to put this to natural breaks and choose OK. And I'm going to extend uh, open my my label and so what I have is a map of 2010 showing um, the number of houses that were for sale and you can see that Florida um, as we've heard in the news um, was the hardest hit by the economic um, housing crisis. I can also add another layer or add the same layer a second time so I'm going to add this again 
uh, choose the same projection I had before. And now the new layer is on top of my old layer. If I turn that off, I can see my old layer. But I can make a second map choose graduated and I want to look at um, for rent. I want to choose natural breaks and OK. So I can compare now a map of houses for rent with houses for sale and see if there's any difference in my pattern. Looks like um, Washington tends to be a little higher in the for rent than it was in the for sale. So you could do some comparisons, some spatial uh, changes with this kind of data. The last thing I'll show you is, let's just look at some of the um, racial or ethnicity data. And one of the things that's a little bit of a problem with the map that we're working with is that um, you don't have data that is related to um, percent. And so I'll show you where to find that for 2000 uh, in a different data set. So I chose uh, black or African American in 2010. And this is just showing the total number. Uh, this doesn't show as a percent of population for that state. But you see a pretty interesting uh, spatial difference of uh, the black population in the U.S.